dear students uh, today uh, actually you will discuss the topic of the depreciation it actually uh, has three methods uh, the first one is called a straight line method straight line method and the second one is called double dick line slash diminishing slash uh, reducing a uh, balance method and the uh, third one actually uh, we will cover in this lecture is unit production method so uh, the first one uh, which is a straight line method uh, we are going to discuss here is actually in a straight line we depreciate an asset over its useful life with the same amount what does it mean it means that for example uh, we can understand with the help of an example for example we have an asset whose cost is sixty two thousand five hundred its salvage value salvage value uh, means uh, when an asset has fully utilized from the perspective of the user and after that uh, the value which he or she obtained having sold out that asset is called salvage value so in this case salvage value is uh, 2500 and the life of an asset is 3 years in uh, a straight line and in the double deck line method actually uh, we uh, show the life of an asset in terms of years so how can we calculate the depreciation over its useful life for example uh, we have a format like this here computation depreciation expense accumulated depreciation accumulated And last one is the book value. In here we have a year one because we are going to calculate actually the uh, depreciation of the first year. In computation, actually we need to put the formula for a straight line. The formula is uh, cost minus salvage value multiply by 1 divided by life of an asset ok so uh, if we put here cost which is actually 62,500 minus 2,500 and uh, we divide it by 3 
we got actually 61,666 and we <coughs> try we try to round it uh, and it becomes 61667 so with the help of computation we got this amount so we would like uh, not to like mention the calculation here so we cut it here and paste it here and uh, now again 62500 minus 2500 divide by 3 so actually we got the amount with this calculation or the computation accumulated depreciation actually shows the current year depreciation and the previous year depreciation so in this case actually the current year depreciation is 6167 and there is no previous year depreciation so we put here 0 for the previous year depreciation and the current year depreciation is 61667 so accumulated depreciation in first year becomes equals to the depreciation of the current year now what's, what, is, what does it mean by book value actually book value equals to cost minus accumulated depreciation so cost is uh, 62,000 500 minus accumulated depreciation is this amount so we got 833 you might have some problem here actually because uh, 62,500 minus 500 becomes uh, we put bracket here so to get the correct amount actually So the correct depreciation is 20,000 okay now in actually in a straight line we repeat this formula and got the depreciation in our three years is equal to the same amount which is 20,000 that's why we call it a straight line method in a straight line we have a uh, depreciation of an equal amount now for accumulated depreciation in this year we would add the previous year depreciation plus current year depreciation now now it becomes 40,000 and the book value is 62,500 cost means cost and minus accumulated depreciation now it becomes 22,500 so in this year accumulated depreciation equals to this one this one and the current year depreciation so it becomes 60,000 and we have a remaining book value equals to 62,500 minus accumulated depreciation with which becomes 22,500 uh, make sure that whatever method we will use at the end of the life of an asset 
we have a salvage value equals to book value means the book value of the last year must be equal to the salvage value and the accumulated depreciation would be at the end of the life of an asset equals to depreciable cost what does it mean by depreciable cost depreciable cost equals to cost minus salvage value so uh, in this case actually we have a 62,500 minus 22,000 2,500 now we cannot depreciate an asset greater than the amount of 60,000 so it means that at the end of the light the accumulated depreciation or the total depreciation cannot be exceed the depreciable cost thank you very much we will cover the uh, double decline method in the next le next lesson